Hello, welcome back to another episode of Two Days Drinking Beer. My name is Josh. My name is Alec. It is Monday, the 25th. Calendar's still off. At 5.55 p.m. Wow, it's a lot of fives. There's one thing you can't avoid in life, and that's taxes. It's tax season. I hope... Uh, oh, I get the joke now. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just say that? I mean, you have until April. Get that shit filed. H&R Block does it super easy. Uh, this is not a paid... <laughs> Where's this coming <laughs> this from, is not bro? A, uh, you gotta let me know when we're sponsored. Off the dome, it's not... We're not sponsored by H&R Block. If we were to be sponsored by a tax brokerage, I would pick TurboTax, just because. I would choose H&R Block. Wow. You barely even go to H&R Block. Today's uh, FFOTD, uh, 2DDB FFOTD, uh, fun fact of the day, the B now, the butthole. Is this is a cheap one? Okay. Goldfish only have a memory span of three seconds. Everyone knows that, Come and it's from. not true. Corn to be a great teacher dot com. Fuck, fuck teachers. Fuck all the teachers who are reading their students this fact because myth. It's meant for children. Myth bus, Fuck children. Fuck not kids. like you know the legal way, but like. That's what we need. Mythbusters did it every time you say a fact. I know the Mythbusters episode. I remember watching the Mythbusters episode where they like... Such a fucking nerd. Cracked it. Am I a nerd? That's like... That's buzzkill. That's not buzzkill. That's buzzkill. That's lying. It's for kids, You're Lying man. to the people. So is telling your kid that Santa Claus is real. He's not. Big difference, though. You know, you'd almost forget the show is about drinking beer half the time. Right. I Today would. we're drinking dog do. in my homework. Oh, that's crazy. It's got lions on it's it. It's got a sticker. I like that. It's again, it's it's again it's the minimalist ass can. 7%. Okay. One pint. This is cool. I don't like the sticker. Don't I don't like how you can homework. feel it. I, I do. I, I, I like it because it's different. It is a nice polished can. I'm looking at myself in the reflection right now. <sighs> looking at the pearly whites. It's a Blackberry Sison Ale. I like that. I always pick the ones with fucking blackberries. Elderberries. Over the mountain of Zarthan. It's red. Red like blood. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, it's just fucking carbonated wine. Oh, that surface tension. That's amazing. Red, uh, red AF. It smells like wine, bro. Are you sure you didn't get just some fucking... It's in the beer section. I mean, it's an ale. Okay, but it's like it's like canned wine. Here we go. Cheers. The classy wine. That tastes like fucking wine. That's some good ass shit right there. It tastes like wine. It tastes like fucking grape juice. Yeah, cranberry grape juice. No cranberries. I just get grapes. I get a little bit of the blackberry. I get some grapeberry. I love it. It is good. It's it's like a juice flavor, but it's like a it's like a hard carbonate. This is juicy juice. It's super like carbonated. Juicy juice for adults. It's just like wine. It does fit the kind of, the aesthetic of the can, like the lion. Like, I imagine like eating just a giant turkey leg and like mashed potatoes in a castle. And you're And this is what we're drinking. Yeah, but it's warm. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what you would drink around like a fucking round table if you were a knight. Wench, bring me my meat. Yeah. Wench, bring me my... Corn cob ale. My corn beef. What's it called? The the shoehorn? The little the horn they drink out of? Doesn't matter. This is fucking carbonated ass wine. I have no qualms with it. For when the, you're on the go. The selection at Total Wine is is different from Bevmo. Most of it's the same, like the domestic shit and like well known IPAs. But the rest of it's just kinda random shit. Yeah. Real quick, shout out to the Meyer family for providing us with the gift cards to go to Total Wine and purchase these beverages. We got these and next week's uh, beer on the Total Wine. Well, not next week's, but the next episode. Hey, next, next, so the, next episode. So they essentially sponsored this whole week. They essentially sponsored the week. So thank you to the Meyer family. Thanks. So I want to talk about death. <laughs> Fucking but, but go! In, in very unconventional ways, though. So... There's this uh, serial killer documentary that just came out about... Everyone's talking about it. Yeah. I haven't seen it. I watched a half of an episode with my parents because they were watching it. Do you know the name of it? It's like Night the... Stalker. Yeah. Uh, it happened in 1985. Uh, some dude in Southern California. I was one. Oh, you weren't? Yeah. 85. Oh, so I was negative 11? <laughs> sure. Cool. You were not even a sperm cell. Yeah. 
or an egg. I was minus eight. You were, <laughs> I was. It was eight BC. You were just atoms before that formed yet. Eight BB. Eight before birth. Before BB A. <laughs> BBAB, fun th- before fun baby Alec Barden. Fun fact bef- about sperm cells is that they generate in the male's testicles during the process of having sex. So it's not like female eggs where it's like they're they're born with them. Every time... Born with fucking all of them? Yeah, every time a male ejaculates, he creates new sperm cells on the spot and then ejaculates those sperm cells. They're new every time. Yeah. So every time is a different possible outcome. No pun intended. Well, I mean, the DNA is still the same. Yeah, sure, but it's like, you know, the luck of the load, if you will. <laughs> so, <laughs> this documentary came out. It's about a serial killer. And I was wondering, how many active serial killers do you think there are? Right now that we don't know about? Yeah, just like, that are out and about, killing people, haven't been caught yet. <clears throat> in California or... In, in, like, the grand scope. It's just, like, the world. And are we talking, like, gang members, CIA agents, or just people who, like... Like a wear serial skin? killer. <clears throat> well, do you consider, like, if there was a gang member who's killed six people, is that serial kill? Is that a serial killer, or is that just someone in a gang? In the conventional sense, no. Right, a serial killer is someone who, like, plots it, executes, and... So gang members can be considered serial killers I to a certain degree, well, but not like several people. conventionally a serial killer. That's what I'm saying. We're establishing that right now. Yeah. Are we yeah, talking yeah. about just your people? Con- your conventional weird dude who wears skin. Got it. By the way, another fun fact about serial killers before we get into that, uh, they they cracked the Zodiac's... Yeah, the cipher. They it's cracked re- It's really big. The, the Zodiac's... Uh, the cipher. That's what is called. that what it's called? Yeah. The, the encrypted letters? Mm-hmm. They cracked it. They still don't know who he is. And they, I don't think they ever will find out. Mm-hmm. He's probably already dead. <clears throat> probably. He was from like forever ago. It's from like the 80s too. Anyway. What was the question? How many active serial killers do you think <coughs> there are? In California or like all over in, the world or United the, States? In the world. In the world? Fuck. Like. <laughs> then the United States. All right. World at least 100. Like yeah. Really? I was gonna say at least hundred in the United States. I'd say one to, I'd say one to three hundred serial killers are active right now in the United States and a thousand in the world. That's a lot of fucking people just killing people. But we're talking we're we're talking serial killers yeah. who are like, I kill you, they do something weird, like there's this guy who used to like stack rocks on the chest of people he killed. There's other people who like cut them limb for limb like Mm -hmm. people with like a a fucking routine that's what i'm talking about i understand okay percent that's just that's all still (laughs) a lot of fucking people killing people i'm i'm honestly i feel like i'm lowballing it i feel like there's a lot of murderers in the world bro i just saw a video murderers sure but serial killers are different Mm, yeah I guess you get. I guess the only difference is like, did you get away with it and do it again? Because murder is just one person. You kill one dude, you're a murderer. Mm-hmm. You're a serial killer if you murder. You're a serial murderer if you murder like three people. Murder. <laughs> <laughs> How many people did you kill? <laughs> like three. Ah, oh! <laughs> new record. At least three. Yeah, that's weird. Like, do you even count like soldiers in the military? And what and what qualifies a serial killer? Is it like you have to kill three people in the same fact? Yeah, let's just look up the definition of a serial killer and go by that. FBI is gonna flag me hard. As if they already haven't. They've got you and me on a blacklist, homie. What's up, FBI? What's up, agent? What makes you a serial killer? (laughs) It's like Josh. If you start with your neighbor's cat, yes, you're a serial killer. A serial killer is typically a person who murders three or more people. Usually, I said it first. I said probably like three. I said three before you. It's not about who does it first. We're both right. I'm more right. Usually in service of abnormal psychological gratification with Mm. the murders taking place over more than a month and including a significant period of time between them. I think that's the key. The key factor is that they feel this uh, psychological gratification to where it's like, oh, the devil told me to do it. There's four types of serial killers, too. (coughs) Like they get like a boner when they kill people. There are thrill seekers, Mm -hmm. mission oriented. Visionary killers and power control seekers. Yeah. 
I'd like to change my figure to 150. <laughs> I mean, if you go on Wikipedia and search, like, serial killers, it says this list is incomplete. You can contribute to it. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I've got no intent on killing anybody. That could send the wrong message to people. It could, potentially. You fucking dumbasses. Obviously. This list is incomplete. You can contribute, <laughs> said the devil. Obviously, that's not... 666. <laughs> Subliminal messaging everywhere. <laughs> Obviously, that's not what they mean. They say if you got a tip, give it to Wikipedia. Stick it in. No. That's <laughs> so fucked up. Could you imagine like showing your kids? Hey, you see that list of serial killers? Yeah, I added to that list. <laughs> oh, daddy, you you help find the guy? No, uh, I'm an editor on Wikipedia. Yeah. No, I added to the list couldn't imagine that conversation so based on those four types <laughs> like mm-hmm. so if there's 300 serial killers in the world um let's for example let's just urge for hypothetical 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 Hi- i like I, that i like that too i like that actually hypothetical that's like one thing <laughs> like you fuck up and I'd, I'd usually make fun of you but i'm like ah that kind of works that, that even sounds like a better term it does hypothetical uh and hypothetically speaking if I like you, it. Let's make it a thing. If you were a serial killer, like what four, like what of the four types do you think you'd be? Me, thrill seeker for sure. Mission, not f- thrill seeker. Mission oriented. Uh, fucking it's power, it, power or, or control. Yeah. Or what was the oh, fucking other one? I just had it. Thrill seeker, mission or visionary killers. Key, uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> in order. <laughs> I'd no, say... Just like which one would, do you think you'd No, I'm going to give it to you in an order. <laughs> From most likely to least likely? <laughs> most likely to least likely. Most likely visionary. Uh, I'd, if I'd be like... Okay. I'd be like, yo. Grandiose. I'd be like, yo. I got to do it. If, if I was like really like call to action, like... If I saw the face of God and God was like, Alex, sacrifice your first son and then two other people at a strip mall. I'd be like, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, yes. There, there, I saw the face of God. There has to be a significant time in between it <laughs> to be considered a serial killer. Yeah, it, I'd start with the people at the strip mall, obviously. I'm not going to have a son tomorrow. <laughs> I'd be like, can I do it in reverse order, God? He's like, I don't care, whatever. <laughs> He's like, smoking a cigarette. <laughs> My God's like, yeah, however you want to off him. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, visionary. <laughs> um, And then probably, what's the other one? Um, thrill seeker, not th- mission thr- oriented. Mission oriented. So it'd be visionary then mission. If if the government was like, yo, you're the only one who can get close enough to like this person. I don't think it comes from the government. It's like your own like I want to do this mission. <sighs> That's the visionary for me. It's either coming from God or a higher power. It has. I'm not gonna wake up one day and be like, oh, I'm gonna kill someone. I was gonna be like. That's a thrill seeker. Yeah. I'm going to wake up and be like, yo, my life is... I, I took some LSD or some peyote, and I had a vision of the world ending like uh, fucking the Unabomber. And I'm like, yo, technology's going to control the world if I don't kill this one person. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this doesn't happen, the world is fucked. That's, like, my thing. So, like... <coughs> if... If there was anything like that, I'd have to be I'd have to be so fucking convinced. I'm like, yo, this is a thing I need to do. So it'd be visionary and then command or missionary. <laughs> Mission oriented. Missionary. I do a missionary murder. Um and then power or control. And then power or control. And then thrill seeking is absolutely the last because you know how anxious I am, bro. I can't even fucking sleep without It could fix your anxiousness. Something could just overtake you, and it's like, oh, this actually felt really good. Mm-mm. I I'm too paranoid to, bro. I'm like I'm sitting in my room and I killed here. an animal. Yeah, I've killed animals. I'm a hunter. Did you feel good about it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like it. He's not a serial killer. It's okay. You can't do it. <laughs> yeah, no. That's my <laughs> fucking point. It'd have to be. It, it'd have to be in that order because there's no other way it would happen. He's clear. I'm saying the very last possible thing I would be is a serial killer for the fucking fun of it. And the fact that people wake up and they're just like, 
well, time to get on Fox News. Yeah, murder on my mind. Yeah, like, you're insane. By the way, you know the guy who wrote that song actually killed his mom? Yeah, for the song was a confession. Yeah, it, it actually killed his mom for his fucking, uh, what's it called? Money? <clears throat> oh, yeah, well, the um, inheritance. Nice. The most common, I believe, most common. The most common reason, most common purpose for murdering someone. Yeah. It's kind of fucked up. Because if, if more people knew it was the most common like you think they would thing or like not even side effect just like side effect <laughs> uh fucking oh no my <laughs> mom died and now i got all this money <laughs> <laughs> it's not like most common denominator coincidence i'm looking for a word i don't know what the word is it's a fancy word i'm gonna skip over it but if people knew it was that common for conspiracy like, no describe the word i don't know I'm going to abandon this. Okay. Reckless abandon. But I think that less people would do it. Or, you know, people just are fucking stupid. I don't think so. Nobody thinks. <clears throat> this goes back to my theory the last time. Hypothetical. That goes back to my last. We're going to hy- get hy- hypothetical? That goes back to my la- last hypothetical of um, the people who see people kill in um, copycat killers. <clears throat> documentaries and do it. <clears throat> they do it because. They go, I can get away with this, or improve upon it, or that guy's a dumbass, let, let, let me show him how to do it. I think if a murderer sees that, I think someone who has a, a mental illness or disability, like, I think they're, they're going to murder if it's part of who they are. The thrill seekers. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's just in their nature. They're born that way. If you could be born gay... If you, if you can be if you can be born um, uh, transgender, you can be born a serial killer. You can be born born a murderer. I identify as a serial killer. <clears throat> no, let like, me into the LGBT. Not community. an identify thing. It's like you are that thing. That's the thing. It's like it wasn't a choice. It's almost like fate or predetermined. It's like, it's like the in my mind. It's There's like a born one. Yeah, man. One it, day, you will. Leave. You will travel a very dark path, <laughs> and you have no choice. I almost threw up. Um, <laughs> yeah, man, I'm saying it's like That's to be shitty. to be. I know murder's like not chill. That's my point. But like, I I can't imagine like someone like you. You have to hit the end of your fuse, like the, the Joker movie, right? It's like you've got the mental illness, and you and you're taking medicine, and then when you're off the medicine, you're just like, I punched that guy. And it felt so good. And then it keeps snowballing, you know? And I'm not, like, a violent person. But, like... You're just verbally abusive. That's fair. (laughs) Uh, Not physically. Yeah, I mean, you know, the good kind of abuse. (laughs) I don't know. Shut up, you're gay. (laughs) They're pretty equal. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, probably. It doesn't matter. Um, trauma is trauma. However that murderer comes to the conclusion that I need to kill this person for this reason, uh, that's just like a broken person. And I I don't want to say empathize with killers, but like you can't help but be like, dude, that sucks. Like whatever happened to make you do that, like... Well, that's why so many people psychoanalyze them and make all these documentaries because they want to figure out what led them. Do mm-hmm. so they want to understand why? They want to know the why they did it. But that's the thing. It's like if it's psychology, it's like if if it, if you could if you could say like it's the same as being gay or being straight. You're just born how you're born. You've got to assume that some part of that is also related to uh, autism. You know, uh, physical incapabilities, uh, mental instabilities, like people who are angry and go on murdering careers, you know, like. It would also tie into nature and nurture. Yeah, and that's where that's where I'm saying the, the, the side of compassion is, is like, I couldn't imagine someone being tortured or so traumatically beaten or abused as a child or infant or whatever happened in their life to where... If it, if it isn't a choice, like if if it isn't the thing, like 
<laughs> if it isn't the case where you're born to like kill or murder and you wake up one day, then your life had to be so hard to where you were at your wit's end and you had to choose. You had to wake up and choose. All right, well, I'm going to murder people. Woke up and chose violence. You're going to wake up and choose violence. But it's like, it's that weird split, right? Because you can't say everyone who's ever been a serial killer had an abusive childhood or or a traumatic experience. Ted Bundy was a pretty cool dude, I hear. Yeah, some of them had perfectly normal lives, perfectly good, rich parents. And then other people who are more modern, the school shooters, they're perfectly well-off people and just did it for fun they just did it because they felt abused or neglected or like the supreme gentleman or whatever like whatever their memento not memento manifesto is like they have an ideology behind it there's like a, a bigger than life purpose fucking supreme gentleman and that's that's my whole thing is like you're either born that way in those families because those families probably didn't abuse you i doubt not being hugged enough for your dad working overseas did that like i know people who have like real abuse you know and they don't murder people to deal with it you know yeah it's one of the things i could never imagine doing but like i could see myself killing animals for fun but i couldn't imagine (laughs) killing people for fun that's different yeah animals don't fucking matter well, that's the thing. Like hunting is like. I've always, I've always, I've always, I want to go hunting. I think that'd be. Cool. <clears throat> Hunting's like a sport too. So it's like I can get that side of it. It's like it's fun because it's like that's why they, even rich people do that whole like hunting big, the fox, big game hunting. You know, yeah, big game hunting, shoot fucking elephants lions. or fuck those lions. people though. But they do it, you know. Fuck them. Um, you know, maybe there is like a world's most dangerous game. Uh, arena somewhere where you can just Shit. maybe Epstein's still hiding out. You're just covered in mud, hiding from the predator. You don't know. It, it's on Epstein Island. That is the most dangerous game. <laughs> wait, 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 there's a there's a joke in there somewhere. Epstein is hiding from what's the Hollywood guy? <laughs> the fucking the producer. Yeah. He got starts with a W, I believe. Yeah. Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein. <laughs> Epstein. Epstein is hiding from Weinstein. And Weinstein's the predator. <laughs> hunting him on his own island. <laughs> hunting, him on the, hunting him on the... Right next to Kid Fuck Island <laughs> is You Are Fucked Island. It's separated by a fucking land bridge. You can walk there. <laughs> and a bunch of landmines. Nice. Yeah. No, something like that. I wouldn't be surprised uh, with that big money. Bill Gates is just like, eh. There is a lot to the world that we don't know. Hell yeah, bro. And we never will know. So we'll never know the true amount of serial killers. We'll never know why people kill for fun. We don't know what yeah. the, we don't know what the elites do for fun either. Mm-hmm. This is all like new shit. Yeah. Pizzagate and whatnot. Like that whole I mean people <laughs> people know about trafficking that happens all the time. Yeah, that's it's, super real. It's, it's been just, known, but it's never been but, like... But what you what you don't really, like, you don't wake up every day to think about unless you're, like, either in the business or in the business to stop that business. You don't wake up every day and think about, like, just a normal person. tracking exports. Meanwhile, you're, like, on your way to work on your 9 to 5, and a plane flies over, and there's, like, six kids in the storage compartment, and they're, like, about to pass out from suffocation, and then they get shipped off to some guy in Guam for, like, sex slave and trafficking. It's, like... Uh, yeah man the world's fucked I don't know what to tell you <laughs> I feel like we come to this conclusion so often and it's like yo I don't know what to say it's horrible I'm sorry so grab a beer and being gay is a us. choice no it's not no being gay is not a choice be eh, it can be I, you think. Bo- I don't know well you can be I guess but be- are, who are you to tell me what I can and can't do with my body being gay is not a choice you're born gay the same way you're, be- you're born a serial killer is what I was trying to say that's going to be what gets us canceled. Cancel him. That's going to get us canceled. I'm an ally. <laughs> I'm an ally too, I swear to God. So I developed a list of the top 10 worst ways to die. Here's my order of the list that it's in. It goes drowning, fire, go ahead. I'm starting at 10 for like the not as most bad, mm. but still pretty now fucking Now on Watch bad. Mojo. So number 10, I have buy an animal. So that's like a shark attack. Oh, you meant like an alligator. Because of an animal. Yeah. Not like B-U-Y an animal. 
<laughs> no, not you. Hi, I'd like this puppy. Yeah, fuck. That's maybe number 11. Yeah, you but... buy an animal and it fucking kills you. <laughs> but number 10 is death by animal, like a shark attack, alligator death roll. That's the least. Yeah, It's in the top 10. But the least of like top 10 abs. I have some bangers on here. I don't know. All right, I'll see. Number nine. I say electrocution as well. <laughs> electrocution is not up there for me. You don't think that'd be like electrocution is like fifteen, maybe twenty. Like it's not that high on my list. I feel like that'd be really bad because like yeah, uh, you, you black right? out. No, I feel like at enough voltage, it'd be like your body's a potato, bro. So like when you get the electric chair, you're doing the whole wiggly. You do the little dancey dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting all the <coughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I'm getting all the TikTok highlights for you right now, bro. It's all coming out. Well it's the same as Instagram highlights. Still though. <coughs> when you're in the electric chair and you get the button you get the, the switch flipped and you do your little dancing dance, uh that's just because when electricity is coursing through your body It's firing the muscle It's firing the muscle uh signals to, to flex and do that. Chances are you die within the the second it hits you because it just overloads your system. Like the same way you, when you catch on fire, you black out. You, you go into shock, you black out, and then if you <coughs> die, that's your body's way of protecting you from the pain. That's like an evolutionary thing. It's proven. Yeah, it's pretty shitty. So it's number nine <laughs> on my list, electrocution. All right, yeah. Number eight, I have it getting hit by a train. Do you also have getting hit by a semi somewhere on there? Nope, it's just a train. I feel like a semi would be way worse. I mean, they're pretty a train's, similar. A train's like a solid fuck you, right? Because you get hit by a tr- semi truck, boom, you're dead, 18 wheels over you. You get hit by a train, boom, <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> People are counting the cars as it's rolling over your body. Well, at a certain point, it would stop like uh, being like a speed bump. It would just smooth ride. Yeah, <laughs> smooth ride. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, they're fast moving. They're really heavy. It takes a lot to derail a train, too. So. Yeah. No, I've seen it hit it's cows. Gonna, it's just gonna keep going. It splits cows in half. Yeah. Trains don't give a fuck. Uh, getting hanged is number seven. That would suck. Yeah. Not hanging yourself, but getting hanged, like uh, being an old pirate back in the day. Suicide. And having the floor <clears throat> drop beneath you. When you really think about it, suicide has to be one of the least worst ways to die because you do it to yourself. That's a cop out. <clears throat> well, yeah, it's like, it's not like you don't want to die. It's like, you want to die, you choose your own death. It's overplayed. So, so you're probably going to choose the one that you think is the least painful to you, right? Like, I don't know. Also, like, hanging yourself at home is really inefficient, too. You're probably going to suffer. Yeah. Well, a lot of it is like... You don't break your neck the right way, and you're just going to suffocate. A lot, of the, a lot of the uh, suicide asphyxiation is, like, accidental uh, foreplay. Like, uh, People don't know how to choke each th- other. Yeah, they don't, they don't know how to choke themselves during sex. or The sides. Yeah. The sides Pinch. next to the arteries. <laughs> it's blood flow, not air flow. <laughs> Depends on who you talk to. Mm. Uh, then I got number six of getting shot. Death by gun wound. And just that, anywhere, any gun wound? Yeah, it would hurt a lot. Not if it's just it's, it's, the dome. It's definitely one you'd experience. You know what's crazy about gun deaths? Uh, if you get shot by a sniper a mile away, the bullet will hit you before anyone else hears the sound. Yeah, sound is pretty slow. Yeah, so they, they can see the flash of the muzzle and all that, but by the time... And you're like, shit. Yeah. If you see the, if you like, if you see a flash, you're like, huh, I wonder what that was. And then you're chilling with Kobe. <laughs> You don't even have time to die. <laughs> yeah. No, that's the thing. Is like, it's there. A, a bullet can go like a mile in like under Especially a second. Especially those long-range rifles. Yeah. That are meant for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, number five is disease. Like cancer or something that you'll really suffer. Yeah. That's pretty shitty. Yeah. Well, that's just because it's like terminal. Usually it's like only so much you can do. Or like AIDS. Yeah. You're going to fucking die and you're going to suffer. Mm-hmm. Number four, I got a plane crash. Chill, thanks, yeah. No, we talked about this like literally two days ago. It's not that's not my inspiration. 
I think dying in a plane crash. Because you, because you get not a, even necessarily on impact. Because you get to do the oh, like you, you know, the falling's the worst. You know what everything's happening. You know you're probably not going to survive if you do make impact, mm-hmm. either be on the ocean or land or building. Mm-hmm. Like even if you do survive, you're still gonna <laughs> fucking die. Took, yes. That was a nine eleven joke. Took me long enough. <laughs> even if you do survive, you're still gonna probably fucking die to the elements. Well, it's like broken bones, like yeah. There's, you're not gonna you're not gonna walk home. There's no longevity with that. <clears throat> yeah, even if you don't die on impact, it's like you'll have just enough to see the sky go dark. You know. Yeah, you'll die within like two days. <clears throat> yeah, that's max. Pretty terrible. Number three, getting crushed by an airplane crashing. I think that would kill you instantly on impact. Like oh, if it fucking, fucking so. nose dives right in, you're laying out oh, on the beach. So. You see, everything goes dark and a plane just coming right at you. You know what I used to think? You're fucking 30 feet in the ground. You're already buried. You know what I always used to think? You're right. It's like, save some money. Um, uh, You know what I always used to think about as a kid? <clears throat> Still do, actually, is like, if, if a nuclear bomb was dropped, I'd either honestly want to be nowhere near it, or I'd want it to drop right on top of me. If the mushroom cloud goes over your thumb, you're too close. Have you ever seen... From the horizon line? Have you ever, yeah. Have you ever seen the game Fallout? No. Oh, that's what he's doing. Yeah, Vault Boy. Mm-hmm. He, he's holding out his thumb. It's like a, hey, and he's smiling. He's measuring the mushroom But that's, that's the measurement. As if you're... What is it, that, like 100 miles from it, the horizon depends line? Depends on your elevation. But if the mushroom cloud exceeds the height of your thumb, you're too close. You're essentially in like radiation. From zone. the horizon line. From wherever you are. Okay, but where do you hold your hand? Like, do you hold um, your... To the horizon, yes. Okay, that's my and then question. Thumb, well, I thought you meant, like, elevation. Oh. No, horizon lines, like... I get it now. Historically, as far as you can see. <laughs> if, you're, if the mushroom cloud exceeds your thumb, mm-hmm. you're in the radiation zone. Now, that was for atomic bombs. Now we got other types. It's outdated technology. <laughs> now we have hydrogen bombs. Have you seen... Uh, I, I rewatched... <laughs> I'm going on a... I'm ripping it today. Um, actually, I had some caffeine. That's why, probably. Um, there's a, a scene in Shutter Island where he's like, you know what atomic bombs are? They're bombs that are really big. It's, it forces two atoms to come together so fast, the basic space-time continuum explodes. But hydrogen bombs... That's maybe where he goes crazy and kills his daughter, no? Mm, kills his family. Yeah. Leo? Mm-hmm. Um... <clears throat> He goes, but hydrogen bombs, those implode. And those cause the space-time continuum to explode even bigger. That's why that. He's a good actor. (laughs) But yeah, like getting crushed. Kind of like what happened to Ryan's finger, but with your whole body. (sighs) Like your whole body. Yeah. Or like, this is an honorable mention, but like getting pinned by a car. Mm Mm-hmm. Whether it be it rolls over it and rolls onto you, or like you're it, like getting something out of your trunk and someone rear ends you. Yeah, that's that's a, that's that's in the number three. Getting, getting pinched, crushed, yeah. getting crushed. Yeah, that's for sure. And then my number good. one and twos, they're tied. Okay. They're both tied for the number one worst way to die. It's getting dying in a fire and drowning. What if you died in a 24 hour fitness pool while it was on fire you would drown while you're on fire you wouldn't be on fire unless you were like soaked in oil that would make it worse huh yeah cause then it wouldn't get put out by the water that would hurt so bad for like 5 seconds and then you die yeah so I, I have cause that's like one of the that's like one of the most popular like would you rather questions would you rather get burned alive or would you rather drown? That's so tough. They're you, basically the same way to die. You know what I always think about? Uh, did you ever read 1984? Nah. <coughs> I didn't read in high school. Basically, the book uh, uh, has, this, about. It has this part. It has this room where you go into it and it's your worst fear. And it's it's like nobody knows what it is. And then the main character gets thrown into that room. And he's like, what are you going to do? Like waterboard me shoot me cut off my fingers i'm not afraid of you and they're like oh no we're not going to do any of that we know your biggest fear and the government yeah exactly 
the the government basically it, it stores all this data. Like if the government like captured any one of us and they're like, what are the launch codes? They'd be like, let's revisit Josh's podcast where he says it's number one in two biggest fears of death. Fire. And they use it against you. And um, basically, yeah, the government was just like, we monitored your heart rate when you were lost in the cave and you started panicking when you touched a rat. So you're just going to be locked in a room full of rats. And they didn't bite them. Well, they bit them and like scratched them and everything. But it's like that. It's like a personalized torture. They personalized the torture for you to like get on board with. That's dope. The government, yeah. I feel like that should be more often. Like that should happen more often. Why? Because I think that if okay, so if we lived in more of an age where like torture for information was more popular. Okay, we're not talking about torture for information though. We're talking about torture for obedience of the masses. Take that aspect out of it and just, like, modern countries. Got it. I thought that's what you were saying. Mm, no. I thought you were like, if you don't speak English, <laughs> jail, right away. <laughs> Play music too loud? Jail, jail right away. <laughs> I'm charging too much for sweaters? Jail. <laughs> uh, no, but, like, if, if we were so primitive, like, back in the day, where, like, you're a spy, tell us what you know. Mm-hmm. We're going to torture you. We're well, that's the thing, too. Is you like, we know what you hate. You know what's funny? Jeez. Um, I'm reading The Art of War right now. And The Art of War says, treat your prisoners kindly and with respect. And then only torture them if, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if, if your troops that are imprisoned are being tortured. You don't want to be the bad guy right off the bat. Exactly. It was like, it, it's like, it's really, it's really tactful. It's like, you know what? Let's, let's be gentlemen about this. Is my guy safe? No? Well, then your guy isn't either. Yeah. That's, that's the, that's the negotiation right there. If he's not safe, your guy's not safe. I want to add something to my list. Go ahead. Have you ever seen those videos of people exploring caves? But like those really tight ones that you probably shouldn't be doing. Yeah. Getting like stuck in those. Drowning in one of those. Not even drowning. Just getting stuck. Fucking 127 <laughs> you days You don't think later, starvation would be... But in a hole. You don't think starvation would be a hard hard way to die? I would just eat myself at that point. I don't think it'd be a hard way to die either. Oh. It, it would, not, not the worst. You'd suffer, but it'd probably not be that bad. Yeah. I don't think that'd be as bad as like getting crushed. You would just try to eat shit and then you'd probably just end up vomiting blood and passing out. Yeah. Like three days. I imagine, yeah, I imagine if you died from starvation, you would just kind of like go to bed and not wake up. Yeah. But getting pinned or crushed by something would be way worse. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. It's like, maybe we just feel that way because there's a chance of survival, right? Like if you got shot in the stomach and you you can't really eat for, for the rest of your life, you got to eat through like a, a tube. IV or a tube or whatever like that's bad right so it's like straight into your colon in my head like that's what makes it so bad if, if anything like yeah but nine it, times out of ten you're gonna live yeah but it's like it's the longevity of it that makes it scary or like un um unappealing right it's like the fact that like it might not kill me it's like it's the it's the elongation of it like you said in the airplane like it's not the dying part it's the fucking fear the experience of on, all of it happening <clears throat> on the way down and then even if you do survive the crash you're like i can't walk again i'm probably gonna be eaten by wolves like it's it's that that thought it's not the it's not even the idea of death it's just how you die <laughs> yeah that's the what happens up mm -hmm. until it because like if you get pinned if you're getting something out of your trunk and someone hits you at 45 miles an hour, your legs are gone. You don't walk no more. Ever again. Ever again. If you don't die from blood loss. I mean, I guess there's prosthetics. And just impact. <clears throat> but yeah, at the end of the day, it's like, that's like so life altering. Yeah. That's... And it's, it's, it's the elongation that I think made it on, that put it on that list for you. Would you, do you think you'd freak out if you're on a, a plane that's falling? Absolutely. I can't, I couldn't even fly to Arizona without panicking. Oh, I love flying. I guess that. Oh yeah. Okay. I guess if you're, if you're not like a fan. Well, it's, I like flying. It's convenient, but we hit turbulence, bro. Oh, I love that. 
And I told you, um, as soon as we were turning, we were going down, and he goes, and I swear to God, he almost damn near went straight up. I was like, I didn't know these planes could do that. Do you like roller coasters? I love roller coasters. Oh, would you like <laughs> airplanes? <laughs> okay, roller coasters are on it's tracks. The same kind of principle. No. G forces and whatnot. Okay, G forces. You know those rickety roller coasters that are shaking? It doesn't. Turbulence. Okay, but like, if if the roller coasters like track broke, and it went, and up, you're going straight off, and then we're going straight off. That would suck just as much as flying at that point. Because then you can't get out either. Mm-hmm. I think you'd be safer, though. But I'm saying, like, to get, like, in a plane crash or, like, in, in the plane turbulence. Back of the plane is safe. Or. I was in the back of the plane, and that's where it was the shakiest. Well, like, on impact. <laughs> well, luckily, I didn't have to use that principle. But it was really, it was just really shaky. It was like, I got lifted from my seat, you know? That and it's so like, much fun to me. And, and I looked around and like, there's those businessmen who always fly planes who hit that turbulence. And they're just like, oh, like, it's just, it's so second. Like this, this just happens to them. We. Yeah. For me, they're on their laptops, bro. Typing shit as we're landing. They're like, they don't give a fuck. Like yeah, you never fly. So for them, this is just every day. You know, for the pilot, it's just every day. And I looked it up. It's like, I think only like five commercial crashes have ever happened in the United States. And like everyone survived. I mean, not pre-2001, but. <laughs> after that, everyone started dying. <laughs> yeah. In airplanes. After that. I don't know why. After that, there was a really large spike in that. Um, Airplanes used to be safe. <laughs> no, just, nothing changed in their construction. They just stopped being safe. Well, statistically, 2001 to 2003, it was just going down back to normalization. But, um, yeah. Um, the turbulence is just what scares me because it's like, it feels like you're going to drop. And after the maneuver this guy pulled, bro, it was like literally like, Doo. and it was like the scariest shit. And then he does this like this fucking turn like phew, to land on the uh, on the freeway and like as a kid I was I didn't pay attention to this shit right but as an adult for whatever reason like my fucking you're just aware yeah my gyroscope in my head was way more accurate now than I was when I was a kid so when the when the plane goes like this or that I feel it yeah. I'm aware that that angle is happening so when this dude goes phew, I'm like phew, I'm along for the ride because my gyroscope is like stay balanced. As a kid, it's like dark, dark, dark. <laughs> yeah, fun. When Thanks you, for the peanuts. <laughs> yeah, when you're in my fucking car, you're like the seatbelt should catch me, and I whip you over to and you hit my fucking shoulder with your head because your seatbelt doesn't catch me. You shouldn't rely on the seatbelt. Use your gyroscope to keep you steady. Uh, That's like saying you shouldn't count on the ground for catching you <laughs> when you fall in an airplane. The ground is always going to be there to catch you. <coughs> My throat still hurts from you, sir. <laughs> You're welcome, Daddy. No, that's common. It, it'll go. Just get some tea and some honey. I don't. That's what I, I suggest to everyone when their throat hurts after after me. I don't like honey. Uh, get some ginger tea. Can I use agave? Sure. I don't like agave either. <laughs> so dumb. Uh. So that's Josh's top ten worst ways to die. To keep in mind, this list is my own opinion. Unwatch JoJo. If if you agree with my list, you know, let me know. Or if you have anything to add to the list, contribute to Wikipedia's list of zero killers. <coughs> oh, don't. Do it yourself. If you want something done right, do it yourself. You gotta do it yourself. What do you got for me? Death-wise? <laughs> or conversation-wise? Okay. E either or. Vice versa. I've been mulling this idea over for a long time. Stick pet. Stick pet. <clears throat> do you know those videos of AI um, learning how to do a maze or play tag or walk? I, I've seen a lot of videos where it's like they teach themselves how to play games. Mm -hmm. It's the best. Cool as fuck, right? Yeah. And you always see iteration one is like derpy. <laughs> it just falls over. Yeah, it doesn't even know how to walk. Or like iteration one like won't even move. Yeah, it's always and like generation, iteration one hundred twenty seven that actually figures its shit out. Yeah, and then generation like one goes like over here. It's like, oh, there's some shops over here. Oh, I'm gonna go to the battle. Loses in battle. Oh, if I go to the shops and use this item, 
I can win in battle. Um, I was like, that's literally evolution. Yeah. That's why it's in, they classify it as generations. So, if anything, I'd say that is evidence of us living in a simulation. So you're tying evolution to simulation? <clears throat> I'm saying that if we are in a simulation, let's say we are in a simulation. Hypothetically. Hypo- hypothetically, we're in a simulation. And the reason we are here today is because we're on the 2021st rendition of this simulation. We're the, well, it depends on when you're born, so... Let's just say we're the two, 2021st generation AD, <laughs> or whatever you want to call it, you know? It is AD. Whatever you want to call it. That's how many generations, like, the the one that I was looking up is like a... Um, it was like an AI deer taught itself to walk. And it took nine, it took exactly 999 iterations before it could walk. That's some whack AI. But it learned how to do it. It figured it. it how many it, generations does it take to get hunted? You need to create the program. Damn it. But the idea is that every generation lived and died. Mm-hmm. And every generation got better. Mm-hmm. And... I think arguably you could you could easily see the parallel between a generation in AI that we've created <clears throat> and a generation in natural selection and evolution that we are living in. I think the only difference is, is that as soon as we fail a task, we don't die. And a new one doesn't happen. We keep going. So the same concept Correct, we don't die, but that's it's 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 a similar concept. It's evidence in that we are in the simulation on this two thousand twenty first rendition of being human. Right. As soon as like the deer <laughs> falls down, they go straight to next one and it resets. Mm-hmm. They're not dying. They 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 learn from the previous year. It's not the same deer though. Sure, but we're not our parents. So we get to learn from them and their lives and et cetera, et cetera. And we're a new thing. We're a new thing and we get to do something a little different. It's a new deer. We're a new deer. We get to learn to walk. And as soon as we fall down, it's a new deer. Mm Mm-hmm. But if we fall down, we're not a new person. No, you should have kids. We keep going. So We we could still still evolve through children. When you're learning how to walk, right, and you fall down. They don't fucking throw you in the baby dumpster and get a new one. Like, Unless oh. you're in China. <laughs> Are you in China? No. There you go. You're not thrown in the baby dumpster. <laughs> and are like, shit, we need a new one. Alec 2.0. Takes two more steps. Falls down. Shit, this one's no good either. Alec 3.0 takes three steps. I get that. Stumbles, <clears throat> but keeps his footing. I, I think you're focusing too much on the fact of, like, if it fails, it gets just canned and i'm saying big picture it's not like i'm not talking about walking (laughs) i'm talking about like maybe like government or just being human or it's all trial and error it's all trial and error like sure we don't die and go to the next generation but the fact is we evolve the same way ai evolves trial and error in a more complex way and that's and that's and that's and that's me saying that's proof that we are in a simulation of some sort. I think it's more complex than just trial and error because that's also based on people's opinions, especially when you get into like how things are run. Granted, but those are people evolving at different paces. So it's like, and people evolve differently. It's all based. <coughs> exactly. So if this, if this program's trying to play tag, if this program's trying to play tag and this program's trying to learn how to walk, they're going to be like, hey, look at that? those fuckers over there. Let's kill them. Can I interject real quick? And then they play. Yeah, go ahead. Do you know that TAG is an acronym? Uh, Yes. Touch and go. Yeah, that's it's crazy. I don't know if it's actually an acronym. Probably is. Who invented the game? 
I know oh, it was I'm just a, it, it was just a thing on TikTok though. Like so, shit, I believe it. Somebody was like, I trust TikTok. My teacher said more than Twitter information. Oh, yeah, fuck Twitter for information, bro. You shouldn't be on Twitter. You on Twitter for information? That's where I get my news from. That's where I get my porn from. <laughs> That's sad. Is it? Yes. You get your news from there. I'd rather get porn from Twitter. Regardless, trust me. Try getting porn from Twitter. Way more be- Way more reliable than getting news from Twitter. I get my porn from other sources. Other sources. Uh, uh, on I get my news from other porn sites. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more complex than just uh, trial and error and aspects. Okay, but that's that's what you evolved to believe. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't say it proves the salvation. <laughs> it. Could I didn't say it proves. I you, said it is evidence s- towards. You said it proved twice. To a simulation. Uh, hypothetically, I was trying to. Sure. I was trying to say, I was trying to make the statement saying, "Here, motherfucker, humor me. Let's pretend." Oh, this is why you said I got to really dig for it. Yeah. Uh, fuck. R- remember? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I mean, okay, I guess, but human. Okay, so we're not animals, right? I mean, we, we are. are. We are, but we're not. We're more... We're the most conscious animals. We're the most highly intelligent being in our world. And I think that... <coughs> my throat is fucked. Yeah, so I, it goes away after a few days. God damn it. Don't ever do that again, please. That's gross. That is disgusting. And you do that to other people and they like it? All the time. Some people like the pain. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you evolved that way. I I just say I'm blessed. And God's only a simulation. Day. God's a computer programmer. A really a fucking, really good one. A really fucking bad one. He's a bio. He's a bio. But here's the thing: like, you could also say someone who's biologically programmed is like, if if we're biologically pro- programmed by God, so is genetic genetic engineering. All the CRISPR babies. We are now already predisposed we're now, to the best genes possible. We're now programming our get. own evolution. Yeah, but. CRISPR is pretty cool because you get automatically the best qualities of both candidates. That's like, I mean, even then it's still up to the child to fail. Is it? Because I feel like here's because the thing. you could take the <laughs> all the best genes that make someone a really good athlete. And give all the best genes that make someone. I want to be a dentist. A really pretty supermodel. Stick them together, and this kid can either not be an athlete or be a supermodel. They could do whatever the fuck they want. You could be predisposed to something and that's, still not do it. Yeah, that's life already, bro. My dad wanted me to join the military because he joined the military. His dad joined the military, etc., etc., etc. A gene, though. It could be a character trait. That's not a gene, though. I got a thick neck. That's not. Oh, that is I've a gene. Got, I've got a high muscle density. I'm fucking aggressive. I mean. You're Reiner Braun. What's that? A character in Attack on Titan, motherfucker. You need to watch the show. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm Reiner Braun. Hope he doesn't die. Anyway. No, he's still alive. Cool. But the thing is, like, yeah, like, people who play football, like Peyton Manning. His dad played football. His brother plays football. His brother plays football. Played. There's, there's genetic disposition to that. Of course they had the choice and the free will to do it. Or not do it. The same way I was able to join or not join the military. And I think that the free will aspect will always put it outside of the realm of possibly being simulated. Unless unless free will is just another variable in the simulation. I forgot what the fucking it was in philosophy course. That was a whole ass year ago. But it was... It was kind of like talking about fate, where it's like you're already predisposed to do something based on whatever choices that led you up to that point. Mm -hmm. It was like if you walked through a cafeteria line and you grabbed an apple, it's like everything that led up to you walking to grab that apple influenced the choice you made to get the apple. And everything that's going to, it's going to also influence your day tomorrow. But you have a choice at the end of the day, whether you got the apple or let's say it's a, a piece of cake. You had a still choice. It doesn't matter what led up to it. You have a choice to pick the apple or the cake. It doesn't matter what led up to the decision. You still have a choice. So you can't really simulate that. 
But because simulations are it's one or two. It's either going to happen or it doesn't. No, it's not. I mean, not a well-crafted simulation. Take Detroit Becoming Human, for instance. There's a thousand different endings to that game. As subtle as they are, there's there's still a thousand different endings. Sure. Call of Duty has like five. Sure. Now it's new. And it's based on how you play the game. Yeah, choices you make. So it's not just one and two. It branches out. It tr- it, it, it Rudimentally, one and twos. Sure. It goes up to maybe four or five. It, no, it's if you present it with two choices, then you can only make one of two choices. But we're, we're not because we a, have... And then a tree forms. Because we have free will, we have an infinite amount of choices, which which is proven by string theory and mathematics and physics and quantum mechanics. Like, sure. You pick the apple and then a whole nother tree forms. You have an X number of choices based on that, whatever your next choice is going to be. It's still going to yeah, be... Yeah, thus it's, creating it's, infinite... It's still going to be one, two, and then based on whatever choice, another tree forms. Yeah, but... It, you know, like how the probability each of one like choice, making a tree diagram? E- yeah, but each choice spawns... Uh, hundreds, if not thousands, of different channels. You still can't simulate that. Probably not yet. It's too complex. I don't know, man. Our, I, our brains are literally little computers. Yeah. You can't make a computer inside of a computer. I have 500 terabyte dreams, bro. I got like a 256 I, gigabyte. That's you have 256 <laughs> megabyte, bro. <laughs> I got a 64 KB. <laughs> you wake up in black and white and you're like, <laughs> beat, blorp, uh, working, dream, wake up. That was a great dream. I had a dream about work. It was weird. I'm, what I'm, happened? I don't know. I, I, just, was, I was working. I'm running Windows 95. <clears throat> yeah. Up in my head. Oh, man. But that's what I'm saying is like, maybe it's just a compa- capacity thing. Like, that's another good question. Like, my dad always says everyone's got, um, everyone's got a fuse, right? So like, Let's say if you were getting angry about something. Let's get that. Uh, Let's go into Oscar. Oh. <coughs> my dad says everyone's got a fuse. <coughs> this beer's fucking my throat up. Yeah, you, <coughs> you fucked my throat up. <coughs> yeah. Um, everyone's got a fuse, right? So, like, let's say you're getting angry. How long does it take you to start a fight with someone who's pissing you off? <coughs> Never, because I'm above violence. So you have a really long fuse. Yeah, I'm super patient. Whereas my dad, when he was 20, he's like, if you looked at me wrong, I would walk up to you and beat the fuck out of you. Steven. Steven. <laughs> and he's like, that's just how it was. He was like, I was just an angry young man. Back and in I'll- the 50s. <laughs> He'd kill you for saying that. It's fucking true. He was born in the 60s. Oh. <laughs> You just look old, Stephen. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, so anyway, he's like, yeah, like, I just, I had a short fucking fuse. And um, he's like, I think everyone's got that. Like, I've got a really long fuse. I've been in, like, a few fights, mostly just got my ass jumped. Like, I didn't fight back. So even in the middle of a fight, I didn't fight. So that's how long I think my fuse is. Let me say that. You've been fought. I've been beat up. <clears throat> um, but the the important thing is that everyone's got different capabilities. The same way when um, I say I have autism and there's other forms of autism. It's a spectrum. It's a spectrum. There's there's some people who have um, like a... Um, I don't know if crippling is the right word. Just like... Um, Debilitating. Yeah, a debilitate. That's the that's the word. A debilitating amount to where they can't function normal. I don't mean white power when I do this. No one means white power when they do that. Some well, white power people mean white power. Well, fuck those guys. <clears throat> yeah. Um, <clears throat> but they have a, a debilitating amount to where they can't perform day to day tasks. Where some people have high functioning autism, where they can perform day to day tasks. The same way some people have. <laughs> genius IQs but have zero social skills. Everyone's got strengths and weaknesses in different areas. So where you are great statistically or at video games, I might be better at conceptualizing talking to people. Conceptualizing or talking to people. Or whatever. Whatever it is, you know. 
So that's the thing is everyone's got a different fuse, but I, I've adapted it to be like, everyone's got a different fuse for everything, right? So like if everyone's got a different fuse for anger, then everyone's got a different fuse for horniness. Everyone's got a different view, a fuse for taste of music. Everyone's got a different fuse for everything. Everyone's got their own timer and they're like, when this happens, this feeling is going to come up and I can't avoid it anymore. If I see my friend after not seeing him for a year, short fuse. going to suck his dick. Short fuse. Short fuse. I'm going to run up. I'm going to hug him. I'm going to say, what's up? When are we going to drink? When are we going to go party that night? You have a different fuse <laughs> than I do. Just jokes. Just it's jokes. okay. You're, key, you're, key. You were born that way. Every time you say born that way, I think of Lady Gaga. Yeah, it's kind of her marketing thing. It was intentional. JoJo C was gay. I guess so. Um, <sighs> These are so good cold. Yeah, they're so, they're so good cold. Um, but um, that's what I'm saying. So, like, everyone's got their different emotion or different reaction tied to a fuse or a trigger. And it's like, let's say you, let's, let's say Oscar, we went to Oscar for five years and he comes, lands on a plane, we pick him up from the airport and I go short fuse. I run up to him, I give him a hug. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is up? I missed you so much. And I'm there. Hi. And you, yeah, you're long fuse. I'm a high five. You're like, you're like, exactly that. Exactly how you'd be. You're long fuse in that, in that category. Just like. I'm still excited to see you, yeah, man. Yeah, like, I'm happy to see you. I just react different. Yeah, I'm happy to see you. Like, this emotion is there. It's just, it's going to take me a longer time. Like, if I didn't see you for 10 years, short fuse. But it's only been five years. So for you, it's like, ah, uh, it's not that long. San Diego's not that far. Exactly. You, you have that mentality of, like, a blue whale's not big because the sun exists. It's only, like, 30 of these tables. It's way more than that. This is, like, three feet. <laughs> That's 90 feet. You're talking about, like, length. I'm talking about mass. You need to think about the mass of a blue no, whale. long. No. But th- they measure the mass of the sun to compare it to the blue whale. In it's that only, video like, that 20 of me's long. It's, like... We're not talking about length, though. It doesn't matter. Anyway. <laughs> when Josh corrects me, short fuse. <laughs> yes. I, okay, I've actually stopped correcting you as much. Whether you spell... Fucking have you? When you spell stuff wrong. I, I don't spell correct you anymore. Well, because I told you I took spell correct off, and if you, if you reply to that, I'm going to ignore you. Yeah, because you're... Because I don't care. Because you're an idiot and you can't spell it right in the first place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I've just... I've stopped doing it. Can I get a sparkling wine? Uh, yeah. I can give you the fucking other one if you want the dinosaurs. I don't, Stanley. actually. There's three of them. I'll stick to this. You don't like the pseudo soup? I like the pseudo soup, but, like, I don't want to mix wine with pseudo soup. You know? It's not wine. This is as whiny as it gets, bro. You're whiny. I know. Go ahead, I you were saying? I never got that far. <laughs> I never thought I'd make it here. <laughs> I, didn't plan to, I didn't plan that far ahead. Shit. I was going to ask you something, but I forgot because we started talking about something else. Ugh. Uh, what were we talking about before that? I was what, talking- oh, mm-hmm. what, what triggers you? <clears throat> I mean, everything triggers everybody. Well, it's like, just how long the fuse is, is my point. Like, some, like for me, it's like watching people jump off buildings and watching them bounce and hit the fucking ground. Or like watching people break bones. That triggers me. Like, I can't watch that. Or like I see that and it makes me fucking You want it you want me to it be It makes a, me feel a certain You way. want me to be a hundred percent honest quick. with you? Yes. What triggers you? When we were at Ryan's yesterday and you're like, Have you guys checked yourself for tes- testicular cancer? I freaked out until That triggered you? All night. I couldn't sleep until three in the morning last night because I kept Because the, of that? Because Did you check kept, yourself? Like four times. You only gotta do it once, my god. I know. But like that trick things like That's that. That's your trick, hypochondriac. Yeah. Though. But things like th- that fucking trigger me I'm to w- sorry man no it's cool like I know you didn't do it to like I know you didn't do it to fuck with me yeah but I'm not gonna do it anymore but like I'm, that- not, gonna, I'm not gonna stop I'm gonna stop caring about your health now homie well <laughs> obviously if you think I have testicular cancer I holla at your boy I wouldn't know but that's what I'm saying it's up to you to check I know but that's what I'm saying it's like you said that and I was like I didn't sleep until 3 in the morning last night and I was like I, th- I think, remember I told you my dream was like I had a panic attack in my dream? Yeah, you got blown up like three times. <laughs> yeah, by my ex-wife, that bitch. Current wife. You didn't even marry her. Not she, even your ex-wife. She's my future wife, yeah. But she came back in time to say, it doesn't matter. I'll explain the dream later if you want me to, but I'm going to stay on this. Um, I had a panic attack in my dream in a hospital 
And I like, we also talked about like, what are your biggest fears? And I was like, drowning, not being able to breathe or like plane crashes literally last night. And last night I had that dream panicking, uh, like can't breathe. I couldn't move. I can't breathe. I had, I had like a bunch of like metal, uh, casts on, um, like kind of like headgear, but for the body, you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> And um, I'm pretty sure it's because I went to bed. Nice. I'm pretty sure it's because I went to bed that night panicked about having testicular cancer. And I was so freaked out that I probably went to bed with that on my mind that like that stress carried over into my dream. And it's like, hey, by the way, you can't breathe. You can't move because you're having a nightmare. This is your nightmare. Uh, you talked about nightmares the day, like 20 minutes, two, like four hours ago. Here's your fucking nightmare you ordered. You, it was on your mind when you go to bed. We're in a suit. Hi, I'm your nightmare. Yeah. Uh, I, we're going to get started in five minutes. I'm, hi, I'm the substitute for today. I kicked Dream's ass over there, and uh, I'm going to run this class. We start in five minutes. Just <laughs> get ready. Yeah, we started five minutes ago. Here's the test. Oh, fuck. But, yeah, shit like that triggers me. And another another quick example is when I took my bi- uh, biology class, my teacher... I loved her. She was a, a sweetheart. Uh, she's an excellent teacher. And again, I'm like, I know that I, don't, I know people aren't doing it on purpose when they do it because they don't obviously know I'm finicky like that. But my teacher was like, "You should see someone who like needs like a, a heart transplant or like gets a heart attack because they need to in, in, in pour it into. In, they need to do like these metal braces into your heart. And what they do is they take garden shears and they chop up all your ribs. And in the middle of the class." I felt pain in my chest and I got up and walked out to get water because she was, she was going in so much detail. I thought I was going to pass out because like up here, bro, it's a freight train of like, you know how I'm saying? Like I have really vivid dreams and like really, they do have to break your ribs, really specific details. But like, I can imagine it awake. I'm like, Oh fuck. I need to get out of this room. You have an overactive imagination. Yes, Absolutely. So anytime something like, if you want to beat me, get in my head. Because that's how you do it. No, I'll just beat you in real life. Or whatever <laughs> it is we're competing in. But that's my, that's my point. Is like, things like that trigger me to where like, that will affect me. It'll affect my sleep. It'll affect my day. It, it affects so much of me. If like, if, if you were like, like when I watch a TV show and they're like, yeah, I got lymphoma. I'll be like, do I have lymphoma? <laughs> I literally do these. So things. when you see those infomercials, are like you maybe compensate not for not, me- mesothelioma. Not not not, uh, not infomercials, but like when I watch a TV show and a character gets cancer, I'm like, shit! Now I gotta worry about getting cancer. You don't worry about mesothelioma. Well, now I do. <laughs> but you know that's you may be entitled to compensation. <laughs> <laughs> things like that trigger me. Because that's how my brain works. I can't control that part of my brain. I want to be able to turn that off. That's why I'm meditating. That kind of quells it. And the fact that I meditated in my dream to calm myself down, beautiful. Meta. Yeah, but it's like that's the one thing in my head I can't control. If you're like, if you're like, when, when Archer got breast cancer, Archer gets breast cancer, I was like, sorry, I'm, <laughs> I get, I'm in it. <laughs> when Archer gets breast cancer, I was like, oh, I got to check myself for lumps. Like, Guys don't really have to worry about that. I know, but Archer got it. That's also a cartoon character. Doesn't matter to me. In my head, it's all the same. It's it's as real as it happens, and I and I panic. So Naruto has a prosthetic arm. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, you're not worried about losing an arm and getting a prosthesis? You want to know why I'm not worried about that? The story of Naruto is him and his best friend fighting making up and realizing that they need each other. So if, if I made you lose an arm and you made me lose an arm... You want to know why? Because I'd give up my arm for you. That's pretty fucking gay, dude. Yeah, it is. But I mean it. That's me violently ripping off your arm and you're you giving... Here you go. If that's what it takes for you to stay alive, take it. Sasuke would have lived regardless. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have the arm to begin with. He... <clears throat> He still fights stronger than ever without it. My point being is I turn that into a metaphor of friendship and love. Sorry, doesn't when you just say, Alec, you have testicular cancer, I go, no! <laughs> Why me? <laughs> and I get wine drunk. And then you check yourself for lumps and irregularities. For six hours laying in bed. 
You only have to do it once. It takes five minutes. I know. But then you're not feeling the connection where your balls connect to your body. You're feeling on the balls themselves. Yeah, I know. And there's nothing. And stop talking about it because it makes my balls itch right then now. Then you're primo. Scratch them. Who cares? But that's the thing is like my balls don't itch. It's They just itch because you're talking about itchy balls and touching your balls. And I'm like, I need to touch my balls. <laughs> The same reason when like everyone's like, Alec, you cough too much. It's like, okay, well, now I've got to clear my throat. I have the urge to clear my throat. Thanks. <clears throat> That's so dumb, though. Why That's... are you broken? <laughs> it's trauma, bro. I told you. <laughs> I'm, I'm releasing an album talking about why I'm broken. Do you have a release date projected? I don't, but it's done being written. So all I have to do is record it. So like two months? If you were to, I like, don't want to say that. If you were to work on it every day, like two months. That's a realistic projection. So, fall 2021. No, for sure 2021. That's eight months. (laughs) For sure 2021. That's eight months. I'll say for sure this year. I'll say for sure this year. You heard it here first, all 20 of you. But, yeah, right? And everyone on TikTok. Um, But for sure this year. But if I, here's the thing. If I really wanted to, I could probably do it in a month. I just don't have the drive or the focus, if I'm being 100% honest. Um, But... I think I, I completed, it's like 12 songs and then there's other tracks in between. It's like, it's an hour long. <laughs> I'm, I'm super happy about that because it, it's something you got to sit down and digest. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a good project. I don't know. I hope it comes out the way I feel putting into it. Well, that's up to you. I know. <laughs> That's the scary thing. Is like, I I could if I rushed it, bro. I could probably do. I could record all the vocals in a week if I wanted to. It just wouldn't be good, you know. Because I like to do the process of like record it, record it different ways, try different things, and figure out what works. So that's why I don't know when it's going to be released. But like, it'll for sure be done before twenty twenty one's over. You got eleven months. Yeah, I'm 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 more than confident that's going to be the the. The cutoff. 11 months in a week. Yeah, I'm not worried about that, but like, <clears throat> that's just where my mind's at. I could, I've done songs and albums faster. It's just a matter of like, it's me in my room, you know, and I don't have like a real wake up process. Like, I I, I don't have a real st- solid structure right you now. You don't have a routine. Yeah, right? I don't have a routine right now. It's like, the best thing I started doing was I started going on walks again, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah, which is why I didn't really feel like I needed to exercise today but like good for you those walks and like meditating is like all i really got in a routine and like that's it you know <laughs> anything else i do irregularly it's random <clears throat> but um yeah my routine's about to form yo yeah you I got fucking class tomorrow and that's the crazy thing too is like i don't have to have a routine like i'd like a routine but like also like <coughs> i don't want to have to wake up every day and be like Dude, because cause I'm, I'm used to working late from Copper, you know. Obviously, I don't work there too much anymore, ever. <laughs> but At all. In yeah. the last 14 months. Yeah, basically. But, uh, yeah, it's like, um, I don't know. This wine's starting to hit me. Yeah, number three smacks. Uh, you on number three? Yeah. I got... Um, I think one more point, if you want me to nail that out. What is it? I really got to pee. You can go pee if you want. Well, tell me what it is so I can think about it while I'm out. <clears throat> okay. Do you remember that podcast? We, I, I have it written down literally as I wanted to say it, so let me just read it. Okay. Remember how we talked about everything is quantifiable? Yeah. It's funny how I see people's rent on social media talking about the two things that you can do that are completely free of cost and nothing. Free, free and cost you nothing. Uh... And they say th- things along the lines of be a good person and help others out. That right? costs money. Um, I said, I only find this humorous, of course, because we live in a society where companies on the internet are fighting for attention for them now. Or attention. Or in economical terms are times, which translates to money. To which I would like to offer a counter argument. Rather than to do things because they are free of cost and cost you no time or money, rather do a bunch of good things... Uh, that will accumulate your wealth, being your attention, time, being the new currency of money, making you a good person is how you find your true wealth as opposed to money and time. 
It's like why they give the person the Walter Payton Man of the Year award. Yep. Uh. So, who gave the most to a certain charity, not who has the most money. Yeah. So, just to, to break it down, is like, <clears throat> I see a bunch of people saying, like, it costs you nothing to like a friend's post or buy, like, you know, support them on Instagram or Facebook or their internet uh, website or whatever. Like, like if we were like, hey, it costs you guys nothing to like and share this podcast. That's that's even shitty because it's like, it does, it does cost you something. It's because it's quantified by YouTube to say it's worth a penny because we get paid like a penny for every advertisement you guys watch. Literally dick. But um, basically it's like, Rather than do these things because you think it's the right thing, rather than do these things because uh, it's free or costs you nothing, you should just make yourself more valuable by just being a good person and doing the right thing. Because if you did that, then the money, the time is irrelevant. And it's, it's the quality of a person that you are that makes you valuable rather than the posts that you like, the items you buy or the time you work like if you get paid $15 an hour to work at McDonald's okay. are you worth $15 at McDonald's or are you just getting paid that it's a little bit of both that's my point though like if if you can't walk into McDonald's and be like I'm worth 17 I'm like fuck you I know dude if we went to that McDonald's with a with those three guys it took three guys to figure out an order because they were fucking high those guys don't deserve fifteen dollars. No, but I could do all three of their jobs at the same time for eighteen. Yeah, I could. Yeah, and that's the thing. I could replace all three of those motherfuckers for their job and get paid more, yeah. because I know that's what I'm worth now. But they're still gonna tell you to fuck off. Yeah, because because you're not worth it to them. It's it's no. cheaper for them to hire three stooges. You'd have to prove it. Yeah, and even then, they won't give you the time to prove. Well, that's it. the thing is that's technically what a resume is for. Is like, if I was like, yo. I like, did all these things. It sounds ain't gonna read a resume. No, there. No, and I'm not even saying I would ever reply there. I'm just saying it's like, you learn your value as you get older. To yeah. where it's like when people are like, "Hey, Alec, I want to record an album." It's like, what do I gotta do? Ligma. <laughs> Sigma. But it's like there are like things that like I do when I work with Lyndon, and he's like, "Let's do a, a video." I'm like, "Separate the audio," and he's like, "Why?" I'm like, "Because I fucking said so. It's how it's done." You're welcome for the syncing issues. Yeah, I got you. He says it helped him a lot, but it's like one of those things. It's like some things are standard in the industry that I figured out all by myself. So when I when I ask you to do it because it makes my job easier, working for you essentially, I can maximize my production speed and quality if you lay it out the way I ask you to. If you lay it out the way I ask you to, I can turn over the product you asked me for faster. Help me help you. Exactly. 100%. That's all it is. If I say, if I ask you to separate the tracks and, and label it, it might take you 10, it might take you 30 minutes to organize the entire tracks, but it's going to save me 10 hours, which means you could probably get it about a week faster or, or whatever it translates to. Like you invest, you got to know when to invest the time and when not to invest the time. I'm saying this is something you need to invest the time into. You want to be good at playing an instrument? You need to invest time in practicing. You want to be a good YouTuber? You need to invest in recording every day. You need to invest in that. Yeah. Whether it's your time or money or whatever. I've started calling, or like, <coughs> not calling, but like referring to projects to completion by how long it's going to take. Uh, elaborate. I, like So at work, I recently was given a special project to do over this last week before school started mm -hmm. where I come in at two in the morning, do my shit and then leave at 10. And they asked me like, how long is this going to take you? And I was like, well, this, uh, back room is going to take me 16, 19 hours. I went to the next one. This one's going to be about the same, maybe a little bit more 20 hours and putting it, assigning it a time value. And I was like, I don't know. I could probably bust it out in a day. Mm. Giving like, uh, an accurate kind of time value. Like it's gonna be. It's so. It's, Sixteen hours. It makes you so valuable as a person. And it's sure a day is measured in seven point two five hours mm. for a, an eight hour shift, but if you give it like the realistic uh, description of like it's gonna be sixteen hours. Yeah. If you if you if and that's the thing too is like when someone asks me like how fast could you mix my album I'll be like honestly. I could mix your album in a day if I if you if you want me to mix it in a day if you want me to release the album next week I could do it next week 
Do I want to do it next week? Hell no. You want to know why? Because it's going to take away from the quality of the product that I'm releasing. It's also like I never really paid attention to that statistic in video games where it's like I in the past like four Call of Duties that I've played, I've been able to prestige with under 24 hours game time played. Jesus. But it's been over like a month span of time because I only play for like two hours a day, Mm -hmm. two hours at a time. And it's so sporadic when I do play. But it's like. I've been able to reach max level and then prestige reset it in like 13 hours total game time played, Mm -hmm. but it's like three matches here and there Mm -hmm. a day spread out over the course of a month. Yeah. So remember when I was telling you about, uh, I was playing risk and I was like, I found a way to just, cause (laughs) when we played, it took us a hundred something turns. You, me and Ryan, right? I was winning. Okay. But now I know you'd lose cause I, I got it. I got it cracked. Okay. I, I, I played it. I, I, I'm reading The Art of War right now, and I, and I tried to use some of those tactics and those techniques, and I swear to God I beat it in 15 turns. Against computers. Against computers, Only yes. Only some of it applies to video games. <clears throat> but if I, if, I, if, I, if I told you to play that game, if I told you to play Risk, to, to play a basic standard game where you conquer 66% of the map, I bet it would take you more than 30 turns. Sure. Cause I'm not reading books. I don't know how to read. I don't remember Fair how enough. to read. But it's like it's one of those things of like I've learned to increase the productivity that way. Ever since you fucking brought that up, like learning how to read, I just more and more I've been thinking like, damn, I'm really fucking illiterate. Not functionally illiterate. I'm just full on illiterate. What do you mean? Because like you, you were saying like you remember how you learned how to read the and we're talking about the alphabet. Yeah. And oh like, yeah. I don't have that memory, and so I've been thinking like, damn. Do maybe I, it is. Do I even fucking know how to read? Maybe maybe it does play a part. Yeah. It's like, fuck. Because it's like... Because I, I was recently told in like my first English l- class like in college... What do, you, what do you call this? That is a bottle opener. What's it made out of? Uh, stainless steel. What, what side is this? That's the bottle opening side. But you probably only know those things because someone handed you a bottle opener one day and you tried opening it with this. It's a societal thing. Yeah, you just, you 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 know because you just know. I know it because of information. No one sat down and was like, "We cut this out. We, we laser this out of like a a, a a sheet metal." It's for sure. Just this is true for sure. Just a, pl- a plate of metal laid down and lasered out. Sure. And then this is just lasered into it. The two dudes drinking beer. <clears throat> so when let me let me explain the e the e rule. Right? So you see okay. D-U-D-E-S. Yeah. You know that word says dudes. Yeah. Duddus. Duddus, right? If you, if you pronounce it hard. But the E jumps over the D and tells the U to say its name. Do. So you say dudes. So you mm. don't even pronounce the E. I see it. You, 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 don't, pronou- you don't say it dudes. You say dudes. The E is actually silent, making the U say do. D-U-E, do. Dudes, Yeah. I see that, but, like, I don't recognize that. So I guess maybe I'm not fully illiterate. I'm still functionally illiterate. But if you don't remember it, that obviously plays into a role of, like... I mean, not obviously, but, it like, it I could may, potentially play into the role. I may, or may not role. have learned ever how to read. And I may have just picked up on it. Well, it's probably, like, Chinese uh, characters, right? Like, uh, at some point, they just know... Like, this is a word. This is what it means. Well, they know their pictures. Yeah. Basically. So they're like, oh... These are pictures. <laughs> They're pictures, and eventually you know what those pictures mean. Fuck. How have I made it this far? I <laughs> barely know how to read. What the fuck? I am an enigma. Enigma? I am. You know what, you know what bugs I'm me? I'm so special. You're an enigma. Yes. The one thing, you know how people say there, there, and there? Yeah. I hate when people don't say an when the word, if the word starts with a vowel, it's yeah. not a, it's an. Yep. If I want a drink, you give me a drink. Do you know do you know what bugs me even fucking more than that? Huh. When a vowel well not when a word not when a vowel. When a word starts with phonetically a vowel sound and it should it feel it feels like there should be an an like a euphemism. That starts with a an E-U. E. It starts with an E, it's a vowel though, so it gets an an. But like some words start with a phonetically No, it's a, it's Every word no, that it's starts a euphemism, not an an euphemism. It's a euphemism. It's grammatically correct to put a, an an though. Really? Because it starts with Just a vowel. Just because of the e. Every word that starts with a vowel gets an an. 
That makes. I mean, it ma- that's the thing. It makes sense on paper, but speaking link, speaking yeah. wise, and everything that phonetically sounds like a vowel. Because if we went off my alphabet, it'd be accurate. But no. Here we go. So if you have a word Lord. that is phonetically starts with a vowel, uh, it gets an A, and then it just fucks it up because we've been taught if it starts with a vowel, you put an an in front of it. An apple. It's not a apple because that's grammatically Which bugs incorrect. me. But people who say uh, apple, they, they say they, they talk. People who would like who talk in a lower tone, that sounds so dumb to me. And that's like, it's it's, it's probably not the best trait for me to to like think that about people. But when people go. I ate an apple at the library. I'm like, you're fucking stupid. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's like, it's like, Pizza. it's like, yeah, <laughs> I mean, not, not so much that. We're that's, just attacking racism at that's, this point. No, no, no. That's an accent. And I'm talking, I'm not talking about like any specific, I'm talking about like white people who are like, just fucking I stupid. ate an apple at the, I ate an apple at the library and then I got my backpack my back, my my pack pack, and went home. Okay. And it's like you're everyone's fucking... called it a pack pack at one point for fun. Still though, but you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like I'm talking about people who like it's just basic. To me, that's basic. Like there, there, and there. Like you got on. Your and your. You got on an airplane, not on a airplane. And I don't know why, but it just drives me so crazy. Yeah, I can't think of any words for my example of the phonetically sounding like a vowel. But, you know, they exist. I see them all the time. I encounter them all the time. I just can't fucking think of any. Next time you see one, since you encounter them all the time, take a picture. Let's write it. No, let me up. It's more of just like, I'm not going to take a picture of it. It's not going to be a word I find in the wild and just... Snap a shot. That's true. You don't read, huh? <laughs> yeah. I, How do you encounter them all the time if you don't read, motherfucker? What? I see pictures. I see and pictures. Yes. I Okay, so I don't know how to fucking read. I just see pictures of words and I happen to know the meaning. I do extra work. <laughs> that's the, Yeah, that's the thing. Like When you ask me, you're like, what's 7 plus 8? And I was like, how does your brain operate that? I'm 15. like, I go, I go 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15. I do that too, but faster. Clearly, <laughs> that's where, that's where my that's where I'm long fuse. You're short fuse. You could do math a little quicker. I'm long fuse. We both got the right answer. I'm just I just am our dumber. <laughs> and I'm not even a math kid. I'm fucking surprised I passed calculus barely. You're not even a literate kid. <laughs> I know. I've made it this far. I'm gonna get a fucking college degree and not be literate. I wouldn't be the first, but you know. You're going to be at a cocktail party. All your friends will be like, I can't believe we graduated. Uh, do you remember that book we read, Josh? That book we read about phonetics and the alphabet? And you're like, uh, I actually wrote my own alphabet, and it's way better than the American <laughs> alphabet. Yeah, I don't even know how to read. <laughs> and they're like, oh, uh, what do you think about the uh, analytical uh, summation of the uh, euphemisms of uh, paradoxes? And you're like, um, pass. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, no one's ever gonna no one's ever gonna be at a party after college and be like, "Man, let's talk about these books we read." Everyone's gonna be like, "Yo, let's get fucking drunk." That's a P- P- that's a PhD question. Yeah, some people some people are yeah. like that though. I've, I've been around that culture. It's you're, scary. You're gathered at a question. They ask you a question that just happened to be based on your thesis, and you're like, <coughs> "Let me tell you." Do you you know what is an irrational fear of mine? You know how people uh, post on, like, social media, like, them wearing a band shirt, and there's, like, the meme of, like, the guy being, like, name three songs. With a knife? Yeah. I am terrified that's always going to happen to me. I'm always prepared. If I if I wear a Biggie shirt, I'm, I'm so scared someone's going to be like, name three songs. I'm like, uh... See, I prepare for that when I go to put on the shirt. That's crazy, cause like <laughs> I prep for that, cause I almost don't wear the shirt. <laughs> I'm like, cause I've got also a song by uh, a song. I've got a fucking shirt by um, Master P. The only song I know by him is the uh, uh na 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 na. That's the only song. I don't know the name of it. Fake fan. Sure, yeah, but I know all of Biggie shit. I've heard of all of Biggie shit, but I can't name three songs off the dome. Name three Biggie songs. 
all I know is give me the loot, ready to die, and that's it. It was all a dream. It was all, I don't know that one. California Love? <laughs> there you go, you did four. That's a Tupac. <laughs> and you did three, and a Tupac song. <laughs> but that's the thing, is like, I've heard all of Biggie's albums, I've heard of all of Tupac's albums, but if someone's like, what's your favorite Tupac song? It's like, yo, yo, I just listened to him, and they were, I mean, like, it's a cool shirt. I heard his music. I don't fucking... Wrong. Stab. Yeah, I don't know all of his shit. Like, Wrong answer. I love Tupac. I love Biggie. They've done so much for the hip-hop culture. But it's not my job to know fucking everything. Right? There's always going to be those leaders to ask you those questions. And that's what bugs me. That's not what art is. But I still prepare for it. If I'm going to put on a band shirt, I'm going to know that someone... So when you have... If, if, if someone says stay, stay all right, so like someone sees your stay sick tattoo, they're like name and, and name sure. the band members of stay sick. Uh, so you got Franzilla, of course. You got uh, Kalen, and there's some other dudes. They're not that recognizable. No, no, no. But there's you have the tat- you have it tattooed on your body. That's way more. This isn't tied to Attila. It's just tied to the dude. It's tied to the singer Franz. It's one. And dude. those bands are tied to him. One band, sure. You can like Stay Sick and not like Attila. That's my point. When people see me and I'm wearing the Biggie shirt, most people just compliment me and they're That's like... That's tied to one entity, though. This is tied to two. Are you saying death metal is better than hip-hop? No. You are, though, because you like death metal more than hip-hop. Because I don't have a hip-hop tattoo? <laughs> you Cru- should get a hip-hop tattoo. Crucify me. That's This is my point. If you're going to wear a Biggie <laughs> shirt... I fucking froze. <laughs> yeah, you did. I fucking crashed. You got stage fright. If I'm gonna wear, I don't, this is my point. I only the only band shirt I have left is a Parkway Drive shirt. I know that shirt. You've had that forever. It's the anchor. It's crooked on my body. It proves my neck is going on the wrong angle. <laughs> if I'm gonna put that shirt on, I'm still gonna think of three songs before I put it on, just in case. I'm gonna have that in my. Always have something in your back pocket. <sighs> That's so sad. I'm always gonna have that in my back pocket, just in case someone asks. I actually just ordered. Uh, a new Target shirt. It's Target. Do you have to pay for your Target shirts? It's from someone else who made it. It's from a third party. It's not from Target. Oh, you're allowed to wear it at work, though? Yeah. Okay. It's Target in death metal letters. That's so cool. I know, right? It's super cool. It's super cool. It's super me. And, like, uh, the Target circle, the Target Target is, like, uh, dripping and, like, kind of bloody. And so that's cool. Uh, uh, I mean, it's... Not like an actual band, but it's using death metal writing. Mm. Well, that's a style. I'm wearing thing. that shit to work. Yeah, Taking that's cool. I'm like, fuck you guys. You sent me this Christmas card, fucking four weeks after Christmas. Me? I don't send you shit. You yeah, don't tar- deserve shit. Target. <laughs> oh fuck, Target. It's all my leaders. Oh. <clears throat> um. Yeah, man. I just I I panic about that. Like, wear the shirt. Prepare just in case. You know, you're never gonna. But know. here's the thing, man. Like. We gotta show that to Ryan. He'll be like, next time he's wearing the Detroit 2, like, name. I don't even know what the fuck that is. It's it's Big Sean's latest album. Oh. But if you were like, name three songs off that album. Ryan probably could because. He's autistic like that. Yeah, he, he's got kind of autistic like that. But it's one of those things. It's like, that's not how my autism works. Like, it's not going to be like, I can name these songs. That's not your attribute. Yeah, it's that's not my superpower. That's your minus skill point. Yeah, that's my long fuse. It's it's one of those things, but like especially under pressure. The only thing I'm better at or, uh, under pressure is ordering food, because <clears throat> I'm usually going off on tangents and ranting. I'm like, oh, I need another minute. Oh, I need another minute. Oh, I need another minute. Ah, oh, fuck! It's been five times. Everyone else is hungry. I'll take the chocolate cake. <laughs> I don't Sir, this is fucking McDonald's. I, I'm not the most, like, socially apt person. Like, I'm mm-hmm. pretty awkward in group settings. But if I'm at, like, a restaurant with multiple people in a party, and they're all, like, separate parties, mm-hmm. I almost... You find kind of, your click? I almost kind of flurry in those, like, scenarios. I, you I, do. Remember, I overperform. Remember when I... When, remember that time, bro? The, the, this, this moment lies, like... Dormant. Shining in my head. No, it's shining. It's apparent. The two twenties equal forty kind of thing. That's just me and my element. I'm really. That's you at your prime. I'm and really like, good in groups of people. In in front of like six people, if there's like a group of six, like you're. I can do it. Yeah, you're like, let me drink that raw egg, and everyone's like, no way. You're like, let me show you this party trick. 
Well, that was a group of three people, the egg. Sure, but, like, you have your strengths. Of course. It's, like, the new people. Or the, if, like, usually it's, like, if there's, like, a cute girl, eh. you, you'll be, yeah. like, you'll be, like, uh, you have to impress them. you be, like, hi. I'm more quiet. Yeah. But that's my point. Usually if it's, like. If they're uggos, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> whatever. But usually you're just, like, let me do this crazy thing for attention. And everyone's, like, yeah. Yeah. So, like, if we're at a restaurant, I mean, I'll, <laughs> I'll know what I, I'll order. Mm -hmm. I'll look at the menu for, like, 20 seconds, and I'll get it right off the bat. I can't make that decision that fast. I got to feel it. That's the, that's the weird thing about me is, like, I'm, I'm usually, I'm super feely. I'm, like, I'm super, like, in, in, intuitive. Like, you want chicken, you got to get, like, this chicken. Yeah, bro. When we were, like, before the podcast, I was, like, we got to eat before the podcast today. It has to be something. Something heavy. It's got to be something heavy, and it's got to take more than five minutes to eat. Because if we got... Any burgers, it'd be done in a minute. This one took us about a whole episode to eat. You know, it took whatever. you like ten minutes. It took me longer than normal, and like I like that. I like eating. A, it feels like a meal. I wanted. I felt like I needed to have a meal, not something quick. I get that. That's what I felt today before I even came here. So like I, I felt that luckily before I came here. But usually it's just like, uh, what feels good? Like uh, I had. Jack and Box recently. I had Winnie's recently. I had this recently. Oh, sounds good. Should I mix it up? Do I want to try something new? No, I don't want to try something new. I think I just want... All right, McDonald's it is. It's, it's like whatever feels the best. I'm super into the feeling of it. I don't know how to explain that. It's just You're in your feels. It's it's Yeah, but it's like an intuitive kind of feel. It's like what feels right. Based on what you've had before. Yeah, yeah. It's not like an you emotional. You can't get the response. same thing twice in a row. You got to get something different. Exactly. It's but it's it's not like an emotion. It's not an emotional response. It's just like a a vibe. I don't know. It's like which is why we're doing all the new beer. I'm sick of those old beers, bro. If if we were doing the podcast every day and it was Bud Light, we would we would have stopped at episode thirty. I bet you. Episode ten. <laughs> I bet you everything. We would have stopped at if, episode thirty. If we drink Bud Light every episode, we would yeah. last for three episodes. No kidding, bro. It'd be terrible. So, not only because it's not entertaining, but like I wouldn't want to do that every day. So out of everything on that wall, what's your least favorite one? Uh, good question. Let me take a look. We got White Claws, Modelo. Is, is that a Budweiser behind Snoop Dogg? No, that's a, a Firestone. That's a Union Jack. Okay. That's from the variety pack. Um, then we got mango. We got the fruit cart, Made West, Natural Ice, Lagunitas IPA, Kombrucha, Big Wave, Corona, Shock Top, Angry Orchard, Yo, I'm not gonna Tecate, lie. Peroni, eh, Press, <laughs> Modelo. You got a text message. I know. Message. I, I hit up that the, was loud. I hit up the artist I'm working with tomorrow. Uh, Corona Premier, Kieran, Modelo, eh, I Michelin noticed you don't Ultra. have the Bud Light Platinums up there. We need another shelf, yeah, don't we? we go through those. Yeah, the shelf is full. <coughs> but um, I'm probably not going to get one because I was going to say to put it. Bud Light Platinum was my least favorite so far. A close second would have to be Soul. You don't like Bud Light Platinums? Those are bad, bro. You don't like them anymore? No, but uh, sorry, the seltzers. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, my bad. The, the Bud Light Platinum seltzers. I yeah, love I Bud Light Platinum. Like Bud Light Platinum seltzers, those were really bad. I like them. I also remember not liking Lagunitas, but I mean nobody does except for me. Yeah, we drink those. With but Anthony. Soul Soul tastes like dirt. I like it. But not, but like Platinum tastes like sparkling seltzer. shit water. You gotta put the seltzer because it's two different things. I remember liking Peroni. Peroni's fucking piss water. Oh, well, it's just super light. Gross. Stella's gross too. But I like what I like actually. I like the like the the heavier beers. Like this is this is okay. Did you like the lump of coal? The lump of coal wasn't bad. Yeah, that's the heaviest beer up there. As, yeah, as far as as far as besides um, that or Green Fosters. Green Fosters was really good. That was all right. Um. Yeah. The the German beer is like I just remember that being like the most beer flavored beer. The beeriest. That's beer. the beeriest beer ever. Like that's as beery as it gets. Uh. Bat rogue bat. What's the uh, bat squatch? Yeah, that's that's to the left of the lump of coal. Yes, bat squatch. that one's really good. Uh, the one to the left, that's white rascal. Yeah, that the whole top shelf is good. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't not like anything on the top shelf. That's when we started doing craft beers. Yeah, and the only thing I don't really like is soul. That's when we started going to Bevmo. And you can the, tell the it's, it's, You can see the gener CBS, generational CBS, permission. Bevmo. 
Yeah. And then the start of the next shelf maybe will be on, yeah. total wine. Maybe you should just kind of every shelf take them down and take a picture and post it on like Instagram so they could see where rotate. we're at. Yeah, just rotate them. But then we'll end up if okay. So you don't have to throw those I, other ones away. I want to get rid of put stuff. Put them in storage because you do have a lot of stuff. Studio and this does look. Josh just cleaned the studio and it looks really nice in here. I got a bigger it's super trash can. You it's know. super nice to be in upgrades. A clean people upgrades. You just gotta get rid of your fucking shit that's here. I have a t-shirt and a bag for and the a mixer. Pair I'm taking of underwear. It. I'm sorry, we work out it's here. It's dirty. I had to touch it. Besides the point, I don't mind. But like, if we eventually What's get your a least studio favorite? space, uh, my that's least favorite goal. beer up there. Yeah. Huh. Bud Light. Really? Uh, no, Peroni. I was gonna yeah. say because like. I don't like Bud Light, but Peroni. But here's the thing. You have to, like, not like it. Like, if you offered me a soul, I'd be like, no, nah, I'm good. Look, that's all there is to drink at this party. It's like, I guess I'm the DD. Like, if you offered me, like, a Bud Light, I'd be like, I'd, I'd drink Bud Light. Peroni, I'm saying, yeah. like, what what on that would you not so drink? So, really, I like all of them up there. I would drink any of them if they were handed to me, except for Peroni. Really? Yeah. I, I, a lot of people like Peroni. How many other fucking people do you know that have drank Peroni? Oscar and my Jenna's fian- and my and my Jenna's fiance and my sister's fiance. Some Mexicans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Drink shitty Italian beer. I think it's good, man. What's the one? You know what we need on that shelf? Just because it's got the novelty of it is the one with the pop top. Gross. Gross. We need gross literally just for the novelty. Because <laughs> one, the beer was good. Two, it's hard. like we need the variety of the bot. We should maybe if we just put like the the most interesting bottles or like the best on there, you know, something we we agree on is like this is the like press d- belongs up there, right? You know what I'm saying? Like that's a really high quality seltzer. Uh, <laughs> bless you, beer. Woo. But like you know, like we could if you want, we could put Grosch up there because it's like. When people look at this, they want to see a bottle that's like different or new or unique. Yeah, and that bottle is definitely different. It's unique as fuck, and we both like that beer. Well, right now we're just doing what beer we've drank. Mm-hmm. And no, it's yeah, for episodic. sure. Obviously, yeah, having the fact that you even have the three shelves is really fucking cool. I'm just saying, like, we are only <laughs> we already filled up three shelves full of beer. Yeah, we've drank, which isn't hard to do because we do it twice a week. Yeah, it's not hard, but it's like. It's crazy that we did it, you know? We're coming up on a year soon, in like three months. Really? Yeah. In May. It sounds about right. Middle of May. Yeah. It's insane. you know, if we eventually ever make enough money to get like a a separate space, a studio space, the walls are going to be lined with it. Well, we'd have it, we'd have it drawn out. We'd figure something out real nice. Actually, I've, I was on Twitter earlier and... Logan Paul actually they redid their set of their podcast and this is it it looks so fucking nice yeah I love it it's so it's so beautiful yeah man it's a it's a set you know you want to enjoy it I love the desk life is a dry hand job I love that it is it can be it's at times sometimes it's wet sometimes it's dry you got the Joe Coy comedy album on vinyl extra I like the desk like that. I love the... We need to do something like that, too. Uh, Polaroids? Yeah. Whenever just, we have guests? Yeah. We need we need. And those that, are the full-size ones, too. Those aren't... Those, the, yeah, those are real-ass Polaroids. The shitty, tiny ones. Mm-hmm. We just need more guests. Yeah. Well, we can make that happen. I haven't been looking, honestly. I had two people in, in loops, and that kind of fell off towards the end of the year, but yeah. uh, I can hit them back up. I we got... Try. Uh, Sophia from Panda. Yeah, Sophia. She exists. She likes all of her stuff. Yeah, no. She's on the show. She's trying I don't to, know if you watch it. She said she'd love to. I only reached out to her. We're trying to figure out the date, but, uh, yeah, basically that's it. I got her, and then I want to get back with Opsaid, do the food special. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we'll go from there. Maybe bring someone else back or whatever, but. Whomever. Yeah. Whatever. Raul just went on a trip. He'll probably want to be on the show again. Talk about that. Yeah, fucking. Every Jesus. time he goes on a trip, he wants to be on the show. <clears throat> yeah, I'm probably. not gonna turn him away. No, you can't really turn him away. <laughs> it's like one of those things. It's like, you. Yeah, hey, sure. You, content. Yeah, your family. Well, Speaking of, we almost went for another two hours. 
Yeah, just talking about strong, fucking what's on the wall and what strong we show. Do. Yeah, I hate the long necks though, like the Corona bottles, because the top of them oh. is getting like condensation on it. Really? Yeah, like the very top towards the oh, bottom. Oh yeah, it's getting old because it's not in a, like a fridge or something. Because they're they're so long and they have all that space, all the air. I hate mm-hmm. long neck bottles. Yeah, I see that. Especially on that one. This one not so much, but that one. There. Do you see that green reflection between the Modelo? And the uh, Cure Sun or whatever. Yeah, there's a shot glass there. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> and then the levels right in front of the Michelob Ultra. Yeah, I just, it looked like everything was green. I'm like, that's not supposed to be green. No, it's a shot glass that we have. Uh, Remember when <coughs> we used to like, drink liquor on the show beforehand? We still can, man. It's, still I mean, can. It's behind the, the sign. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Just one of these days. Yeah, on the days we want it. I just haven't I haven't wanted it in a while. We gotta get loose beforehand. We get better shows. I, I think this was a good show. It was a good show. We just gotta get loose. Alright. Takes us well. We always have like slow start. Well not always, but like we have slow starts and we end it strong. I I think so too. Because we keep we drink and then when the alcohol gets to us. But the alcohol already gets to us. Bangers throughout. Alright. Science. Science. Knowledge. Bitch. He didn't actually say that in the show. Hmm? Science, bitch. Science, bitch. He didn't actually say that in the show. No, I know. Uh, I actually saw Breaking Bad. Cool. Did you see it? I stopped watching it because it triggered my anxiety. <clears throat> when he got lung cancer, I freaked out. Of course. I thought I had lung cancer. That's that's what I deal with every day, Isn't that bro. like in the first few episodes? <clears throat> yes, I stopped watching after the third episode. Jesus Christ. Maybe? That's what I deal with every day. I think I'm going to die of some, some, some chronic fucking disease that I can't help fight anyway. Okay, well, the next show you need to watch is Attack, Attack on, on Titan. Titan. I know. I'm working on it. You can do it fucking right after this. I want to go home and do it. I want to be alone. Do it. And vibe, do it. Okay, well, if you watch the first three episodes, you'll be hooked. It starts... First Don't tell ep- me anything about it. First episode... Don't tell me anything about it. Slow as fuck. I'm go- Josh, I'm going to watch it. Don't tell me anything about it. Go ahead. But if you got questions, I'm here. I know it all. All right. But that's why I want to do that alone. Because, like, when I watch movies alone, I don't have you to be... Because usually even... You, <laughs> you ask the fucking question, I'm there to answer it, and they answer it 30 seconds later. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that does happen. All the time. Yeah. That's that's all I'm trying to avoid. You know, I'm trying to avoid that. I know, I know you don't... <clears throat> I don't want to talk during movies, <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure I can gather enough by watching it myself. We'll just watch it. I will. And, you know, it's ending in April, so... I'll, I'll have it watched before April, you for got sure. three months, and then you go week to week. Like for me. how long? Until April. Oh, April's the new season? The April's season? the end of the series. Oh, I'll finish it before April. They're ending the manga and the anime at the same time. Yeah, I remember you were saying that's, like, the cool thing about it. Mm-hmm. Trash cans are being brought in at... Late night, late hour in the night. It's not even that late. Well, regardless, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being here. Share the episode with a friend if you liked. I need to say that at the beginning. I always want to, but I never do. My name is Josh. My name is Alec. Thanks for hanging out with us.